One in four Americans die from heart failure. That's thousands every year. What if we could change that? Syncardia built the only FDA-approved total artificial heart. It has already been used in more than 2,100 patients. The youngest was just nine years old. And one patient has lived more than 7.5 years. We are not stopping here. We are developing the Emperor, a fully implantable total artificial heart, built on decades of unmatched experience, bringing the future to patients today. Syncardia is more than technology. It's a new lease on life. Mothers can plan weddings. Fathers can see daughters graduate. At Syncardia, we are committed to making a difference, one heart at a time. Hello, my name is Patrick Schnegelsberg. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Syncardia Systems, a wholly owned subsidiary of Picar Medical. My background is in life sciences. I've been in the cardiovascular industry world for over 25 years, working on class three medical devices. Uh, we've launched products in 75 markets, uh, in, including the United States, Brazil, obviously Europe, uh, Latin America, and other, other regions. Our mission is to redefine heart replacement. Today we do this with the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart. In the future, we will do this with a fully implantable version of the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart. Syncardia is the leader in total artificial heart replacement technology. We're the only company with an FDA-approved uh, total artificial heart called the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart. The device has been used in over 2,100 patients in 27 countries around the world. The Syncardia Total Artificial Heart has, has two components. One is the implant that I'm holding in my hands. There are two sizes of this implant. The implant is designed to completely replace a human heart. The other components of the system include the C2 driver, intended for in-hospital use, and the, and the freedom driver that's intended for out-of-hospital or home use. The Syncardia Total Artificial Heart System is intended to completely replace the human heart. In the United States, there are about 300,000 patients that could benefit from a mechanical circ circulatory support device, including a Syncardia Total Artificial Heart or any other Total Artificial Heart. In the United States, there are about 7,500 patients each year who are on the transplant list. However, there's only 4,000 patients a year who actually get a transplant. So that leaves about 3,500 patients each year who do not receive a heart transplant because of a shortage of human donor hearts. This is where Syncardia comes in. Our mission is to redefine heart replacement. Today, we do this with the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart. In the future, we do this with a fully implantable version of the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart. The Syncardia Total Artificial Heart was developed during a period of over 20 years. The first version of the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart was approved in 2004. In 2012, the C2 hospital driver was approved. That was a device that allowed patients to be mobile in the hospital. And in 2014, the company had a major breakthrough by the approval of the Freedom Driver. That's a device that now allows patients to go home. In 2024, another major milestone when we filed several patents covering a fully implantable device, the Emperor, our, our next generation total artificial heart. Cardia total artificial heart has well over a decade of clinical experience. Cardia total artificial heart was first approved in 2004. This was a randomized controlled study, the only randomized controlled study of, his, of a total artificial heart ever. In this study, we showed over 75% success rates, success being survival on the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart or transplant at one year. Well, these results have been confirmed in, in real world data. At this point, we have over 2,100 patients who have been implanted with a Syncardia Total Artificial Heart. The youngest patient was nine years old and the longest a patient has been on a Syncardia Total Artificial Heart was for 7.5 years. But behind these facts and numbers are real lives, patients. Let me give you an example. There's Levon, 10-year-old little boy, got diagnosed with myocarditis, and the only, his only choice of survival was a heart transplant. He was implanted in Michigan 
with the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart, was on our device for 24 months until he received a heart transplant. And today, with the second lease, lease on life, he's a happy boy running around. Johnny is a very different story. He was diagnosed with congenital heart disease that required a heart transplant. He was implanted with the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart, spent time in the hospital on the C2 driver, and then was transferred to a Freedom driver and, and could spend time at home. Ultimately, after 200 days on, on the device, he received his donor heart. Johnny today is the CEO of an organization called Unique Beating Hearts, a nonprofit organization that supports patients as well as, as caregivers involved in total artificial hearts. At Syncardia, we closely work with Unique Beating Hearts to support our patients and our sites. Our sales are growing. In 2023, we sold 33 Syncardia Total Artificial Hearts, or about 4.4 million. And we're on, on, on the way to beat that record. In the first half of this year, we already sold 24 hearts. We have three drivers to grow our sales. Our near-term driver includes gaining market share in the United States by reaching out to hospitals, building more centers of excellence, and by working closely with unique beating hearts. Our midterm strategy is focused both on our label expansion in the United States and in a national expans expansion by seeking approval in Europe and in China. Long term, we focus on developing the Emperor, our fully implantable version of the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart, and we also plan to introduce improvements to some of our driver systems. The Syncardia Total Artificial Heart is not a research project. In the United States, the Syncardia Total Art Artificial Heart is used in over 20, 20 centers across the nations. That includes Banner and, and St. Thomas, both high volume centers that use our Syncardia Total Artificial Heart. Outside of the United States, the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart is used in Europe, specifically in, in France, as well as in Germany and in Serbia. Syncardia is a wholly owned subsidiary of Picard Medical. We are planning to list Picard Medical on the New York Stock Exchange. August. The ticker will be PMI. The price range we expect to price at is between $3.50 and $4.50 and we expect to raise around $15.4 million at the mid-range of this price. Proceeds will be used to support research and development, sales and marketing, corporate operations, as well as to improve our balance sheet. Three reasons why you should invest in Syncardia. Number one, the Syncardia Total Artificial Heart addresses a significant unmet medical need. Number two, we have significant growth drivers for sales, including market share gains in the United States and international expansions. And number three, pipeline and innovation. And lastly, the management team.